Hello everyone, William Briggs here, back with another video. Today we're going to be uh, answering some of your guys' questions that you've had, whether it be on my TikTok or my YouTube Shorts, either or. There's a bunch of questions that I've gotten a lot of, or questions that I find interesting, that I just want to answer for you guys. Um, yeah, so let's get into the video. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, let's get into the video. So the first question, Stop Motion Samurai from YouTube asks, what are your opinions on Monkey Kid? Now, it's good. I like the sets. The sets are all right. I don't really like the idea of it. Like, I understand that it's kind of like something, something about a story from Chinese history, I believe. That's what I've been told. I just personally feel like it's kind of similar to Ninjago, where it's just kind of like in that same theme, where I feel like they have other places that they could have branched out and made like, a monkey kid more like of like a castle thing i don't know i'm just really into medieval stuff you know but yeah i feel like it's all right but there's a lot more they could have done with that theme that's not monkey kid you know now the second question uh diego's uh tiger ti tiger i don't know how to say that asks what sets do you want to see this year <sighs> this is a good question um i want to see the mantis from jedi fallen order because we're getting a build, there's rumors about a buildable BD-1, and I feel like if we just get a buildable BD-1, we have to get a Mantis with Cal and Seer and Grease and a little BD-1 as well. Those BD-1s are super cool. The mold is actually really nice. I think it's pretty accurate for Lego and what they've, what they've been doing with their like molds and stuff. So yeah, I like that. Um, other sets, like the ATTE rumor, is super exciting. Same with the Republic Gunship rumor, the place at scale. Those are sets that I wanted to see. Um, obviously, my favorite set that I want to see remake of is the Venator. Um, I really want a Venator, like any Venator, whether it's an old one, a remake, or a UCS remake. I just want a Venator. <laughs> also, sorry about my voice. Um, I lost my voice playing basketball the other day. So, yeah. Um... Alexander Hero asks, what set is Grand Admiral Thawne from? Now, he is from the Phantom version 2 um, from 2016-2017. Not many people bought this set. It wasn't really good. Like, I didn't, I, when I saw it on shelves, I didn't want to buy it. I didn't like it as a set. It just didn't look good. Um, and so now people didn't buy it, and Thrawn was the only, like, good minifigure to come in that set. People want Thrawn, so he's actually worth a lot now. Which is ironic, but it's understandable. Now our fourth question um, is from at the Banana Mam three twelve. Might be Banana Man, but I have it down as Banana Mam, so it's either a typo or I'm right. Um, where did I get the medieval blacksmith? I actually got it for Christmas from my parents. Um, it was really nice of them. I believe they got it in the Lego store. Um, yeah, but yeah, that's where I got it from. Um, Furman Austin asks, what set is Captain Rex from? Now, I believe he's talking about Phase 2 Captain Rex. I believe you're talking about Phase 2 Captain Rex because I've only done videos on TikTok about Phase 2 Captain Rex. I haven't really said anything about Phase 1 Captain Rex. Um, he's from the Bark Speeder with Sidecar from 2013, which is a, another set that was overlooked. wasn't really very good. didn't sell well. wasn't in stock a lot, I've heard. Um... I never really saw it in stock back in 2013, um, but I don't really remember 2013. That was almost 10 years ago. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's definitely interesting to see that these not so good sets are worth a lot now because of one figure that was never remade. I don't think Lego will do that again. If they do, it's not gonna happen very often. Um, Joel Cole asks, do you have the older Christmas Darth Vader? Now I have the new one, it's up there in the case there. Um, I don't have the old one actually, I never got that advent calendar. I, I don't know what year that's from actually, 2012? I think? Maybe. But no, I don't have that figure and it is pretty cool but I do like the new one better, personally. Il Piven asks, do you have any San Diego Comic Con minifigs? No. <laughs> I've never been to Comic Con. I, like... Yeah, no, I just, I'm from Canada. I don't go to Comic-Con, you know? Faith Clips asks, 
do you have any of the solid gold minifigs? Again, no. <laughs> There's two of them ever made. And a lot of people in this video, this the minifigs you definitely don't have with the solid minifigs. People are confusing the solid gold C-3PO with the chrome gold C-3PO. There's two solid gold, like actual solid, like 14 karat gold C-3PO's and then there's the 10,000 chrome C-3PO's. I'll let you know right now, you don't have the solid gold C-3PO. There's the two people that have it know that they have it. It's not gonna be someone randomly commenting on my TikTok, that's for sure. Soviet Union a asks, when did the ARC-170 come out? I actually don't know. <laughs> let me research real quick. So there's two like, official ARC-170s. There's a microfighter one, but I'm not counting that one. Um, so the, the first one released in 2005, and the second one released in 2010. Um, both these sets are really cool. I think this set deserves a remake, um, personally. I think it's really cool, and I love the ARC-170 as a ship, and I do think it deserves a remake. The Darkest Knight asks, what are your opinions on the 2020 final duel? I don't know. I never actually bought that set. It looks really cool. Um, I know that the Darth Vader has the printed arms, which I think LEGO should do more of. I think I think Darth Vader deserves some printed arms for cheaper sets, personally. Um, but yeah, I don't really know much about that set. I just know that it came out in 2020 and I never really bought it. Yeah, I, I don't even know. I'm not even going to try to say that. Um, asks... Do you know if Rex or Cody will be releasing this year? Short answer, I, well, obviously I don't know, but I don't think so. I genuinely don't think so. I think because of the phase two focus that LEGO seems to be having um, this summer, I think come 2025, when it comes to the, the 20th anniversary of episode three, we might get a phase two Commander Cody. Um, Captain Rex, we may never get another phase two of, and, and if so, it's gonna be a couple years like, it's not going to be within the next couple of years, I don't think. Unless all of a sudden Lego's like, okay, the fans want Phase 2 Rex or Phase 2 Cody. Um, which they haven't done before. Like, why would they do it now, right? Like, they only do that with the other themes. Not Star Wars, of course, because the Star Wars designers don't like us. <laughs> like, I don't know. Ash 10 to Beast asks, aren't we getting a Lego buildable BD-1? Uh, yes, we are, I believe. It's a rumor, but I think it's heavily fortified now with this um, Mando Starfighter coming out with the BD-1 mold um, shown and released. I do think that a BD-1 uh, buildable figure is in order because we have the BD-1 mold now. Um, Ian underscore Nielsen asks, are you selling your Lego? Not at the moment. At the moment, I'm just collecting. Um, I do have a couple like spare minifigs and like stuff that I don't really need bagged up and just waiting for it to go up in price to see like, should I sell it, should I not? Um, but right now I'm not really selling anything at the moment. Um, probably not for a long time. I might, like if I ever get bored of like these two TV sets, I might sell them, I might keep them, might give them away. I don't really know. At Cam367 asks, what does UCS mean? <sighs> like, okay, it actually means Ultimate Collector Series, like, most of you should know that, but for those of you who don't, it means Ultimate Collector Series. Yeah. <laughs> so the final question here is if I have any recommended Star Wars sets from $50 to $100 USD. Now, um... I remember asking the guy if it was Star Wars sets. He said yes, but I didn't write down his at. So shout out to whoever you are. Um, now, my recommendations are any of the helmets. These are dope. Like I love the helmets. They're great display pieces. Obviously this one isn't available anymore, but if you can get any of the helmets, get them. They're super cool. Um, the Mandalorian Starfighter, for sure. That's a really cool set. Um, I'd say Boba Fett's Slave 1 from The Mandalorian. That's a really cool one. Although the Boba Fett helmet is a little bit off, I think it's worth it. Darth, Vader, Darth Vader's Meditation Chamber is a super cool looking set. I don't own this one yet. Um, but I think it looks super dope. And if you're like a little bit older and, you and you're more of a collector than you are and like a displayer, 
and you are like a player kind of with your Lego, get the meditation chamber. It's super cool. It looks super cool. I'm going to try to find this somewhere for discount. But yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's really it, honestly. Like there's not a ton of sets that are good and within that $50 range. Um, but yeah, that's my recommended sets between $50 and $100. But yeah, that's it for today. Um, hopefully I answered most of your questions. If you have some more, let me know in the comments. I want to try to make this a series. So yeah, let me know if you have any comments or questions. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. If you haven't already, like and subscribe, and I will see you all next week. Peace out.